welcome back everybody to the channel uh, I'm gonna give y'all a rundown today we're trying to get our planner going through make sure all of our calibrations are right all of our settings are right and the first thing we're gonna do is we, we had to change some hoses on our Delta Force so we're gonna have to purge the system to get the air out of it so what we've done is we went through here and we've removed all the pins from the cylinders we're gonna tie the cylinders back to where they can't touch nothing then we're gonna go up there in the cab and we're gonna run through a through a test uh, to get to purge all the air out of the system but uh, we're gonna go through here and get all these tied up and then we'll bring y'all back with us Here's where we're at now. All right, as you can see, we got our cylinders right here tied back. We got the pins out. We got them tied back so they won't hit anything. Now we're gonna go up here and start the tractor and run a test on it. And it's a good thing to do this if you've ever cracked a line or I like to do it first thing the season. Loud. All right, we're waiting on our screen to boot up. Get it booted up, and then I'll bring y'all back with us, show you how to run this test. All right, guys, we got our screen up here, but we're going to do the air purge test first. And all we got to do is hold up on these two switches right here at the bottom. Uh, right up there, these two, and it'll purge the air out of the system. Uh, I'm gonna go out back and watch the cylinders while Tommy purges the system, and uh, then we'll bring y'all. I'll show y'all in just a minute how it purges it. All right, I'm going out here to check and see. Let's see if we got any movement on our cylinders. Let me guess if I can get a good shot. Go ahead. Well, I'm going to go back up in the tractor and look at it and see, see what we're doing because we're not getting any movement. All right, we finally got it to where we figured it out if your if your delta force is running off of your power beyond you're going to have to click one of your scvs to put enough hydraulic pressure to your power beyond in order for it to run the delta force so we're running the air purge test right now and then when we get the air purge test done then we're going to run the actual health check on it all right now we're going to try to run the test let's see if we get any movement still no movement so we're gonna have to figure something out all right guys we finally got it figured out i forgot i turned the cab control module off from where i had the monitor in the combine but now we're running an air purge test it's retracting and extending the cylinders you can see them going up and down and what we're doing is we're getting all the air out of the system making sure that all the air is out we're running it for probably a couple minutes just to be positive and then we're going to go back and we're going to run the delta force health check
anybody ever lay their phone down and don't know where they put it? Oh. Voila, found it. All right, now we're gonna run the Delta Force health check. Let's see if it does anything. Yep, there we go. See the cylinder went up and went back down. cylinder well, that's what that's what holds the planter on the ground keeps the down pressure on the unit correct for the the people that are not familiar with farming i know the guys that do farm this is very familiar stuff but this is stuff we do it's a small details the small details that make you get into that 300 bushel club but we're going to continue running this test all right guys y'all can see we're running the test See this cylinder right here working up and down. And what we're doing is we're getting all the air out of this system. Now it's gonna go to the next row. It goes row by row and works that cylinder up and down until it gets all the air out of it. And it's gonna go all the way across this planter 24 times. So old Tom up there in the cab, he's gonna be there a little while. And y'all know y'all y'all notice we got four four of fours here in the center. Different closing system. And then I got my tried and true Schaefer zippers. I really, really, really like those zippers. They do an awesome job. But this fur of fours here does a good job too. It's just a little more finicky about setting. And they don't like rocks. The rocks tend to get hung in them. And we've got the bulldozer blades on them to protect them, to keep, to kind of shove rocks out of the way, but you still hang some every now and then. But we're gonna run these tests, get all this complete, and then we'll bring y'all back when we get ready to run the next test. All right, everybody. We went back through here. We hooked all our cylinders back up. We put our keys back in, our pins and our keys back in on every row. We've got that check done. Now, this planter here is really sophisticated because there is a lot going on on this planter. I mean, we're, we're applying two different products at the same time at two, at two different rates through two different systems. And it, it's, it's difficult to get all this calibrated and set and I changed the whole infer system this year. We went to V-apply on it. So we're going to have to do a bunch of testing and calibrating out here. I got to get out here now and calibrate my radar, get all that going. And uh, then we're going to run the test on the liquid. And I'll bring y'all back when we get that set up. Uh, so y'all not sitting here bored watching me punch on a computer screen. guys we got a couple more tests to do with this planter i hadn't been filming a lot because there's been a lot going on right here with this monitor I, like i said i lost all my information from last year somehow so i'm having to go back through and reset every bit of this and it's it's a it's a big job but uh i'm fixing to set my gps offset I gotta get out here and pick a good place and then make a U-turn and get turned around on it. But we're gonna get this GPS all set, redone, and then we're gonna start testing our liquid systems. We gotta test our infer, then test our tube and tube, and uh, maybe that'll have it ready to go to the field by then. But, uh, we won't get these two, two or three tests done. I'll bring y'all back and uh, kind of walk y'all through what we did do. Okay, guys. What I'm doing right now is I'm running a manual test on my end furrow. I've got it all on. And while we're trying to do that test, 
the dumpster got in the way. Yeah, I took the dumpster out and I turned it here. Tom's trying to get the dumpster straightened back up. But I clipped the dumpster when I turned in here. But what I've, I've just got water in here right now. But you can see the end furrow coming out on each row. I'm just running the manual test. I got it set at five mile an hour at five gallon of acre. And what we're doing is we're just running water through it, just testing the whole system, making sure everything is talking to everything. And I'm also cleaning the system out too from uh, what we ran last year. But just, uh, yeah, this took a little bit. I had a lot, like I said, I had a lot of information and data all my setup from last year got lost somehow from my 2020 but with some good help and some phone calls I got it all weeded through and we got it I think we've got it ready to go now we're going to shut this test off here in just a minute and we're going to start our tuba 2 test alright guys we had a, we had to get out of here and we had to put some corn over in our seed tender and we're going to put some seed in this thing tomorrow carry it over here on the gravel parking lot and try to get our own start stop time set get all that calibrated we still got to calibrate our tuba too uh, we had Aaron Penny's come by from uh, uh, Ag Eco Power he's gonna slap a tune on our Peterbilt and uh, up the horsepower on it and I may get him to work on this S660 that we got and make get some more horsepower yet because we're going to turn our head into a chopping head with a calmer start rose this year so we're going to need a little more power so uh, we're going to get him to come back uh, later on you'll see him uh, slap a tune on both of those uh, he did stop by and I greatly appreciate him stopping by and talking with us uh, uh, he's real interested in learning how to grow high yield corn too so we had a good long visit and uh now we're gonna get back here and we got enough water in here now i think it, we can get our tuba two primed we're gonna see if we can get it calibrated right quick and uh y'all stay with us all right guys finally it took us a while i finally had to get up here on this incline to get the water to come back through the tongue he's on but we finally have our tuba two going you can see we got a stream here and stream here. I don't know if you can see it a little better here. Two streams. Then we got our smart firmer right here that's telling us our soil moisture and temperature and all that. But you can see how that knife it's in between that gauge wheel and that, that conceal knife. That's what we've been trying to get all afternoon. It's been a been a headache, but we got her going finally. You can see in two streams good there. That's what we've been working on. I'll get Tommy to raise it. Let me raise that gauge wheel up right there so they can see that knife blade. Yeah, you see the knife blade there now. Putting the fertilizer out. We got one on each side. Roots grow on both sides of the row last time I checked. So we put it out on both sides of the row. But uh we're running the last calibration now. We'll be ready to put some seed in. And get the 2023 crop critics started. I'm ready to chew my butt up. See what all I do wrong throughout the year. <laughs> I, don't, I want y'all come along with us. 
So we're going to, it's about quitting time. We're going to wrap the day up today. We appreciate you watching. Go ahead and subscribe, like, share the, share the video, comment on it. Just tell me my hat looks stupid, anything. Just help us get the word out. Uh, but seriously, y'all, I'm going to try to help some people uh, grow some high yielding corn this year along the way. So y'all go check us out and we'll see y'all tomorrow.